Right, I've got a great tool to show you today. Um, one that I've bought many years ago and used hundreds of times. Um, it's referred to or listed, often listed as a um, tailstock drilling adapter, um, which it is in a way. Um, but the correct term for this type of machining is a cross drilling adapter. I bought this one from a company called Arc Eurotrade. Um, it has a 2MT taper on the back, um, so it fits the mini lathe or the Myford, um, and a V block in which to put components or bar. Um, then they're clamped in there for drilling, tapping, and machining things in that way. If you um, buy this tool, um, it comes with um, two short bolts, uh, which is all right for doing small um, bars and components. Um, if you want to do anything larger, then you have to fit a couple of longer screws. Um, they're six millimeter thread, and I've got some nice stainless steel ones to go in there. Um, also, the um, diameter of the um, drill down through or the hole down through um, was only eight millimeter um, when I bought it and I needed to do some uh, bigger work on it at some time so I drilled mine out to 10 millimeter in diameter um, if you do that um, put a piece of scrap bar in the um, holder clamp the um, front on nice and square um, and then just drill down through um, and all as you do is just make sure you're clear just past the V um, don't go any deeper than that because otherwise you could weaken the structure of the tool right I've just bought a new version of this tool um, this one here I bought from a company called RDG. Um, it was under £20 to buy and um, what I liked about it was the size of the head on it is much bigger and the V is deeper and bigger um, so that will enable it to hold um, larger components. Um, it's got 2MT taper on the back uh, which will fit the Myford and Mini lathe again um, now this one doesn't come with a clamp, um, I don't know whether they intend you to use it like that but I would have thought that it would have been quite dangerous and um, it would be awkward if you were drilling and tapping because you would have to try and um, line it all up again for the tap. Um, so what I've decided to do is to make a clamp um, to fit this one. Um, I'm not going to draw the face on it um, because that will limit the size of bar again so what I've done is I've bought these two nice um, pieces of um, laser cut mild steel um, they're nice and flat so they won't need to be faced off um, they're three inches in diameter and six millimeter thick and um, what I'm going to do is to make a, a clamp that locates on the back of the um, adapter and um, clamps down on the front. Um, I will do that on the Myford and show you later. Um, incidentally, these tools, when you buy them, you think, oh, they're going to be too hard to machine um, because they're hardened, but um, when you try it they're not that hard at all. Um, I've just tested this one a little bit here and um, it's as soft as anything to turn so you can actually machine them to make them into a better tool. What I really like about this tool is the ability to drill and tap um, components or bar dead square every time. Um, when you're using bench drills you'll know that there's so much room for error um, you can drill things at an angle or uh, off center and um, when you're making tools like that um, 
you want it dead square to make the job look really nice. I've used this one for uh, about um, 19 or 20 millimeter diameter bar. Um, for people that have never seen one of these or haven't used one I'll just show you a quick example of it working. Um, you just slide the bar into the V and position it where you would like the hole to be drilled um, and tighten the clamp up um, and as you're doing that just check from the side that the clamp is nice and square like that um, just look down and see that that clamp is square to the face of the um, adapter and that one's ready to machine. So on the mini lathe you just take the tool and put it into the um, tailstock and make sure the um, cross slide is wound out the way. Um, first of all um, we're going to use a centre drill like that and make sure it's sticking out far enough um, what you've got to watch is that the bolts here don't hit the um, jaws so that's why you need the center drill sticking out far enough just take it up like that lock the tailstock and start up and just do the centre drill like that um, then I'm going to use a core drill for a quarter UNC thread like that, tighten that up through it's clear next the quarter UNC tap um, tighten it in the truck a light spray of oil um, in the low gear and just sort of slow revs make sure you've got enough clearance between the um, bottom of the tailstock and the carriage and that's it Reverse and that's it. And the threading is done on that one. So there we have it, job done. hole right through the bar and threaded um, quarter UNC just for an example and you can see there what a nice job it does dead square and dead center to the bar a great tool to have 
So in the next video I'll show you how I'm going to make um, the clamp for this one. I have come to the conclusion that it would be too dangerous to use without a clamp. Um, for one thing you would have to hold the work in there, your hand would be close to the chuck, um, the bar could flip out, um, you'd have to keep realigning things. Um, so I, I do think that this um, adapter here is a part finished um, item. Um, I think that these flats here were intended to be drilled um, for a clamp to go on. Although, like I say, I'm not going to use those um, flats. Um, I'm going to do mine with the disc at the back. And I'll show you that um, being made on the MyFood in the next video. Um, I think it'll be a really great tool when it's finished and um, have the ability, like I say, to do much larger work. So if you um, really want one of these tools um, ready to go, um, it'd be best to buy this one here um, and you'll be very pleased with it um, when you see the result.